While secret radiation experiments on thousands of Americans were going on in hospitals, the very public testing of nuclear weapons lasted from 1945 until the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1963. Approximately 253 above-ground tests were conducted in the Pacific and continental United States, in which 200,000 military personnel took part. The atomic veterans issued the following statement. We were the victims of radiation experiments, too. They exposed over 200,000 of us in over 200 atmospheric atomic and hydrogen bomb tests between 1945 and 1962. They deliberately bombed us with nuclear weapons and exposed us to deadly radioactivity to see how it would affect us and our equipment in nuclear warfare on land, sea, and air. They didn't need our informed consent because we were under military discipline. They devalued our lives, too. They made us sterile. They crippled and killed our children. They made widows of our wives then denied repeatedly and publicly that there was ever any danger. Say the lie often enough, and people will believe it. How many of your company? Uh, yes, sir, that's right. How many of your men do you think would volunteer to go up and be in one of those foxholes when the bomb went off? Oh, uh, I'd volunteer, guess, of about a half a dozen. At least half a dozen. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, that's quite a loud noise that bomb makes when it goes off. Do you think it would do you any harm? No, I don't think the noise would, sir, no. How about radiation? You think there's much danger from radiation? Well, radiation is the least of the worries that the men are thinking about. I think most people thought that radiation was the greatest danger, didn't they? What did they learn didn't we were prior to our instructions here, we received a very thorough briefing before we even came into close to contact with it. A third group of experimental human subjects, besides the radiation experiment victims and the atomic veterans, are the downwinders. This term refers to all the people exposed to radiation as a result of atmospheric testing. This group in essence comprises the entire United States and in fact the entire world. Fallout from all 2000 nuclear tests has deposited plutonium, strontium-90, and other radioactive substances in the bodies of every human being on Earth. At what point this experiment would prove fatal for all human life is unknown, but it is known that the human embryo is very vulnerable, and that one to two rads is sufficient to produce deformity or death. This much radiation and more has been deposited across the continental United States. Several studies document an unexplained increase in child mortality in the U.S. that began shortly after testing began and decreased after atmospheric testing ended. The government held hearings in the 1990s and gave monetary compensation to some individuals injected with plutonium, but not the thousands of others injured in secret testing. The government's report is largely a whitewash. Few victims were compensated and no scientist or government employee was ever punished. The institutions involved all claimed ignorance or that the patients were fully informed, which was patently false in all cases. They have largely dodged their responsibility for participating in these acts, the same acts for which the Allies hung Nazi war criminals. After the 1995 Presidential Advisory Committee on Human Radiation Experiments submitted its final report, the children of the deceased plutonium victims had the following statements. Quote, I guess the government really won. All the culprits that planned and executed this thing got away with it. For them to say that a little apology is enough is just beyond belief. I do feel betrayed, and I feel abused by this committee's report. Nuclear explosions produce plutonium oxide, which is deposited in the lungs and lymph nodes and cannot be detected in the urine. The human experimental subjects were injected with a different form, plutonium citrate or plutonium nitrate, which does not show up in the urine. Thirty years of testing urine 
from those exposed in above-ground nuclear tests has led to thousands of tests that show a false negative, meaning that the tests were scientifically useless. It had all been for nothing. Mary Jean Connell, the only living victim of the plutonium experiments, when asked how she felt after receiving one hundred thousand dollars, merely replied, I'm afraid it's going to happen again, you know.